Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about the Cloud Adoption Framework or CAF for short. So the CAF is a framework that leverages AWS experience and best practices to help you digitally transform and accelerate your business outcomes through innovative use of AWS. So it's a framework that's designed to help you get the most and out of AWS and not make the mistakes that lots of other companies, thousands of other customers have made and that AWS can uh, and do the best practices AWS has developed. So it's got three parts. There's six perspectives, four phases, and four domains, also known as use cases. So let's go through all of them. And you'll need to know all of these for the exam. You don't need to know them off by heart, but you need to understand um, how they all work together and what they are. So these are the six perspectives. First perspective is the business perspective. And basically, it's like the, the six different ways of looking at how the cloud is affecting their organization. So the business perspective ensures that cloud investment, or you need to ensure that cloud investments accelerate your digital transformation ambitions and business outcomes. From the people perspective, you need to make sure that you evolve to a culture of continuous growth and learning where change becomes business as usual. So people are on board with the things that you're implementing in terms of cloud. Uh, from the government's perspective, uh, you need to make sure to orchestrate cloud in initiatives, maximize original benef organizational benefits, and minimize transformation-related risks. From a platform-related uh, perspective, or from a platform perspective, you need to accelerate delivery of cloud workloads via an enterprise-grade, scalable, hybrid cloud environment. That's uh, the platform perspective. That's that's a way of looking at all the cloud things that we're doing, things we're doing relating to cloud from the cloud or from a platform perspective. Now, the security perspective: achieve confidentiality, confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data and cloud workloads. Mike speaks for itself. And the operations perspective: ensure cloud service delivery at a level that satisfies your business stakeholders. So basically, cloud should be. Uh, doing its job and doing its job well. So those are the six perspectives. Just remember them, business people, governance, platform, security, and operations. And on the exam, you can be asked a question, for example, um, this specific um, description or this specific um, like way of looking to the cloud, does, which perspective does it fall under? So which perspective does it belong? Or how uh, is it, which of these is not a perspective? Or which of these is a perspective? And so on. So those are perspectives. Then we've got the phases. The four phases, this one's quite straightforward. It's like the sequence in which cloud should be implemented. First, you envision. You identify and transform opportunities in line with your strategic objectives. Then you align. Identify capability gaps and cross-organizational dependencies, right? So after you've got a vision, you've got to look at, oh, what, what do we already have? Where do we have the gaps? Like if you, have, if you have a vision and then when you look at what you already have and it's exactly the same as your vision, then you don't have to do anything, right? That's not going to be the case, but you need to identify what, what already exists, what works, what, where the gaps and so on. And only after that, that's when you launch. You deliver pilots in production and demonstrate incremental business value with the cloud initiatives that you're taking on. And then once that's working, once you've launched that, that's after that, that's the final step. That's when you scale. You expand pilots to desire, desire scale and ensure that you can realize and sustain business benefits. And this, this process happens on and on and on. So after you scale, then you move on to the, you go back to Envision and you add more. And then you do align, launch, scale, and then you go, once that's working, you go back to Envision. And so you do this whole cycle again and again and again. Now, for the domains or the use cases, they have this image, which we'll see just now in the infographic uh, that they supply. I don't really like it. I, it doesn't really explain the use cases. So we're going to create our own image. And whenever you see this image, you can remember the one we created. So the first domain is the organization. And you here, you streamline your operation model to create custom value and match your strategic intent. So that's kind of like the use cases or the domains where cloud can be applied within the business. The second one is technology. Migrate and modernize your legacy infrastructure, applications and data and analytics platforms. The third domain is process. Digitize, automate and optimize your business operations. And the fourth domain is products. Transform your business model to create new value propositions for products and services and revenue models. For products and services and revenue models. So that's um, the way kind of like 
think of this image, you've got the organization, um, there's lots of things inside the organization. One of the specific important things is technology. The cloud can affect the organization, can affect technology, inside technology, not necessarily inside technology, but relating to technology, relating to people and processes. Processes is the process that you use in your organization, and then there's the products that go out to customers. So that's the four domains or use cases. And finally, we're going to look at the cloud adoption framework on the uh, website. So if we go over here, uh, this is the Amazon website, cloud, cloud adoption framework, here's the URL. And here they've got quite a few useful materials. So the main ones of interest are infographic and the ebook. So infographic is over here. And you'll see, like, they got some stats. Here's that, um, what we talked about, the, the way, the phases, right? The phases, here's the domains or use cases. And here are the six perspectives um, that we looked at. And then the ebook has a lot more detail on this. It's uh, got over 50 pages. So if you scroll down, you will find how this whole process comes together. Actually, there's, there's an, even, an even more updated image here. Here, so you've got the six perspectives, the four phases, and then here you have what we discussed, the envision, align, launch, scale, and it happens as a cycle, on and on and on. Uh, and then you can read a bit more. So if you have time, like what we discussed is already a great start and will help you answer probably most of the questions that you can get on this on the exam. But if you have time, you can read through this and. Uh, look at things like like these ones, for example. So uh, what are the capabilities inside each perspective over here? So that could be useful as well. All right, on that note, I look forward to seeing you back here next time. And until then, enjoy the cloud.